Two more half billion dollar littoral combat ships are coming to Naval Station Mayport by the end of this year. Critics have questioned the functionality of this ship that's creating jobs and pumping millions of dollars into the Jacksonville economy. Tonight, I take you on base for exclusive access to a secure high tech training facility. Setting course 095. Lieutenant Allison Pierce is on the bridge of a littoral combat ship pulling into Naval Station Mayport. Warship 1, this is Mayport Harbor Control, Channel 10. This is Warship 1, over. Everything looks and feels real. The controls, the radar, even the waves. We, we rock a lot, so yeah, you there's... you feel like you're <laughs> actually moving yeah, with the ship. Yeah, and if you actually stand and look forward with your feet together and don't touch anything, you'll actually feel the effects of, of getting seasick. Lieutenant Pierce has piloted an actual littoral combat ship, and now she's training others on this new $30 million simulator at Naval Station Mayport. Everything is very realistic to what we see on the ship. It feels pretty real. Yes. Blue ship's engaged. A couple years ago, I showed you the LCS simulator in San Diego. 098 set. Mayport simulator, like the LCS program as a whole, has evolved. That is the USS Little Rock. We took you to northern Wisconsin nearly three years ago for exclusive access as it was being built. Well, now it's one of three littoral combat ships based here at Mayport, with two more coming by the end of the year. Since we saw the Little Rock in the Wisconsin shipyard, the Navy has added missiles and other weapons to the ship. The Navy also changed how the ship now operates. Those are how we've kind of evolved in the LCS program from basically a pickup truck that we weren't sure what we were going to put on it. Hey, now we're a pickup truck and we're, we're pretty sure about the three things we're really going to put on it. The littoral combat ship will still hunt mines and submarines and is still capable of surface combat. But originally, the idea was to keep them nimble to do any of the three at a moment's notice. Now, Captain Sean Johnston says each ship will be focused on one of those missions. You know what the great thing about a pickup truck is? You can do anything you want with it. So whether we have these mission packages on it or not, we can be flexible and do whatever we want. Mayport's LCS commander says they've also changed how they deploy the ships and their crews, making it more efficient. And instead of training the crew in the ocean, burning costly fuel between deployments, they train in here at Mayport, keeping the ships deployed longer. The changes mean more people at Mayport, as many as 1,400 sailors by the end of the year. The program is also investing tens of millions of dollars just in construction on the base. It seems like this is a good sign for Mayport, for the LCS program, and then ultimately for Jacksonville. It is absolutely a good sign. Mayport's LCS program is changing and growing. Now again, by the end of the year, Mayport will have a total of five littoral combat ships with two more coming every year for a total of 14. That simulator that you just saw there cost $30 million. There are plans for another one, which will go in a $28 million building that's set to open in 2021. Another $28 million building is set to open in January, which will have five virtual reality trainers, which are not quite as detailed as that simulator you saw.